This is the Boombox B5 from Klim. I have reviewed several products from Klim in the past, but they've all been portable CD players. And I suppose this one is too, but it also has speakers. Technically, this isn't a Bluetooth speaker, but it does receive Bluetooth and it has speakers, so kind of. But unlike other Bluetooth speakers, this one has controls that I actually like. What do I like about these controls? They are all clearly labeled and each button only does one thing. That's all I've been asking for. I don't know if you can see it, but the play pause button has a raised dot on the bottom, so you can easily find it without having to look at the buttons. This is the mode select. It allows you to choose your input source between CD, FM radio, USB U drive, three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, or Bluetooth. Then there's the equalizer. I believe there are five presets to choose from or off. The repeat selector, the options are repeat one, repeat all, uh, shuffle play or off. This is the lighting mode selection. There are six modes to choose from, although three of them are blue. <laughs> I'm serious. There is dim blue, medium blue, and bright blue. And then the other modes include blue too, but just not as much blue. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and then this would be the previous track, the play pause, stop, and the next track. Although I found it odd that this, well, stop works for CD. It does not work for uh, Bluetooth. Um, I'm, I'm not sure why. It's, it seems like it would, but in order to stop the Bluetooth, you have to hit pause. There is no, there's only pause. There's no stop. I guess that's just the way it works. Where is the volume control? Well, actually it's here. They say this is an innovative touch system and it looks like you're supposed to slide your finger around here, but no, this indentation, you're actually sliding the speaker grill and that is your volume control. On the other side, we have skip. You can use this to fine tune the FM radio frequency, which is not skipping but they call it skip. I've, I found that you can also use it to skip to a different track in USB U drive mode. As much as I appreciate the clearly labeled single purpose buttons, I do have one small complaint. I wish they had used white paint instead of silver. White is just easier to see. And I think Klim agrees because their logo's in white and they want you to see that. But even beyond that, the buttons on the top are white, and they are much easier to see. Eh, what? I don't know. As long as we're up here, there's the power button, and these four are your favorite radio station buttons. They're just they're presets, so you can quickly go from station to station. Another thing I like is the soft open, soft close lid. Many other manufacturers seem to have flimsy CD player lids. This one feels pretty solid. I also like the handle of the boom box. When you're not using it, it folds into the body and you can't even tell it's there. The FM radio antenna retracts almost completely into the body of the boombox as well, but it extends a good 24 inches. And then once it's fully extended, you can also angle it. I like that. The USB U drive port, the three and a half millimeter auxiliary input and output port, they're all up front and I do like that. And this auxiliary output port doubles as a headphone jack. There are two 10 watt drivers up front for a total of 20 watts. It's not terribly loud, but it's plenty for a small room, like a dorm room or a kitchen, something like that. Similarly, the headphone jack is loud enough, but it's not going to cause any hearing damage. The B5 has a 2500 milliamp hour battery and you should be able to get about six hours of playback on it depending upon your volume, but I think it's really designed to be plugged into the wall and they give you this power brick to go with it. The full range speakers deliver satisfying performance even at full volume. You won't get any distortion, but you also won't get the super low bass notes. For most kinds of music, it will sound really good. I would avoid using the equalizer for digital sources. CD, Bluetooth, MP3, those will all be mixed correctly and sound good as is. You might want to use the equalizer for FM radio or auxiliary input, but just be careful because you can drive these speakers into distortion with the aid of the equalizer.
As I said earlier, there are six modes for the RGB lighting system or off. I wish there was a button that keeps this backlit display on all the time, but there isn't. It will time out after a few seconds. The whole system will power down after 15 minutes of inactivity. That's whether it's plugged in or not. I like Klim products. They just seem to be in tune with what consumers want. They deliver quality engineering with a great design. This is a house speaker. It's not a rock the house speaker. If that's the kind of item you're looking for, you won't go wrong here. Five out of five.